Hello, my name is Kate and here is another Poundland haul. So I do these every single Friday because Poundland never lets me down. Every time I go, there's always like loads of different items I haven't seen. So I'm gonna show you all of my lovely haul that I got in Poundland this week. And I visited the Great Yarmouth store, which, which is my favorite. It's on like an industrial estate and you can park outside and it's always like really well organized. So I just whizzed around there the other day and I think I spent about 30 quid. So I've got quite a lot to show you. So I'm gonna start off with the food, then get onto all the other bits bits and bobs but um most items were a pound apart from two um and i'll let you know when they are and today's mug of the day is a very unique special one you might have seen it just sitting there a minute ago it was a gift from the lovely mr carrington and it's an actual poundland mug <laughs> so um this was his gift to me and he got me some funny mini hands as well we got together last weekend um and there's a vlog as well and we give each other some like poundland gifts so if you want to watch that vlog you're more than welcome i will link that below and yeah it was really good fun and we went charity shop shopping too so um and there's more videos to come from that weekend so I'll link that below this is the mug he got me which was very funny my one pound Boundland mug and I saw these in mine this week as well thank you very much Mr Carrington if you're um, watching this video and I'll link his channel below the vlog and his channel because he's a fantastic youtuber and he's just so funny and talented and clever so this is my lovely one pound Poundland there's a coffee inside mug of the day Starting off with food, I do always buy these. Um, Alpin Light Bars, Cherry Bakewell, and Banoffee. My favourite is the Jaffa Cake one, but they didn't have any um, this week. And I also bought some of these as well. My son Toby loves those, so I bought some more snack lattes and they don't normally last very long. He has two um, at a time normally. And I found some of these um, Twin Peaks chocolate bars. Oh, that one's broken. Um, and I actually didn't buy these last year. I know they were really popular, um, and I bought two of them. I bought the other one, like the greeny blue one and this one they were a pound each and we ate the other one I thought well, we'll just have a little try and I'll keep it for the haul and last night we all like demolished this um Twin Peaks bar it's so nice and you get loads of chocolate 180 grams um so we ate like the milk chocolate one yesterday and this is white chocolate with almond and honey and nougat they had loads of these in Poundland the other day so um it's probably best stocking up now because they ran out I think last year I think that's what happened anyway. So let me know if you've tried them and if you like them. Haven't tried this one, but yeah, last night's one was amazing. It was such good quality chocolate, it was delicious. For some reason, we only eat Twiglets at Christmas. I don't know why, they come in like those big pop things, don't they? We normally get them then. But I saw these, my mum loves Twiglets, a pack of six. And I don't know if Toby likes them. I don't think he's ever tried them. One pound for six. I don't think I've seen them in there before, um, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, and I got this for Toby as well, some Nesquik chocolate flavour. This is either hot chocolate, isn't it? Or it's like, it can be a milkshake. Is that what you are? Hot or cold, I think. Yeah. This is really good value. I double checked at the till that it was a pound because um, I thought there was no way it was going to be a pound because they had some smaller ones for a quid as well. And you get 33% um, extra free sun packed crunchy peanut butter. I've really been after some peanut butter. I was like, you know, well, craving, that's the word, isn't it? So the other day I was like, I just want peanut butter. And I think it was quite expensive in the shop. I think in the co-op, I was like, I'm not paying. It was over two quid. So I was really pleased to get that for a pound. And in this one, you get 545 grams, which is really good. And I like the crunchy one as well, it's my favorite. I tend to always buy porridge in Poundland, so I just grabbed this and it is golden syrup um, flavor, instant porridge, Quaker oats, and you get each sachet is 36 grams, which is quite good because some of them can be like 27, I think, or 29, and it's just not enough, so you get a little bit more, which is good. I've not seen these in Poundland before. I don't know if you have, but um, they're like the instant coffee, you know, like Azira. I think it might be a copy of Azira, like, you know, like the freshly ground whole bean instant coffee. So I think you've got some, um, what does it say here? Instant coffee with finely milled ground roasted coffee inside. <laughs> it says inside um, because you wouldn't put it on the outside. But anyway, so this is 60 grams, which is really good because the Azira one is like two pounds normally. You can never get these very cheap. So hopefully that'll be nice. What I'll do is I'll drink some of it. Well, obviously I'll, I won't drink the powder because that wouldn't be very nice but I will make a coffee um, for next week um, and let you know how it is so I'll do like a review and bring it back to let you know if it's any good but I got one for my mum and one for me because I think it's going to be a good product so I don't know where it's from is this a Poundland copy or is this just like a different make if you've had it before and you like it comment below and, and let me know 
I've treated Bestie the cat this week to these um, Whiskers Temptations. They're like the dreamy things, aren't they? With chicken and cheese. Um, and there's quite a lot in here. 50% extra free. These were a pound. And um, what was I going to say? How much you get in here? Does it tell me? Just a lot. Double basic. Oh, 90 grams. There you go. So lots of um, dreamy temptations for Bestie the cat. If you've seen any of my Poundland hauls recently, I picked these up probably about two or three Poundland hauls ago, so about two or three weeks ago, and they are so nice. I, I don't know if I'd tried them then, I can't remember. You get obviously a free little Tupperware box, and you get 15 individually wrapped All Butter Sweethearts. They are amazing. They are so delicious, honestly, because you've got, like the other ones, you've got a little sponge cake and something else, and... Um, they're all individually wrapped, but these ones are just so good. And because they're individually wrapped, I'll stop saying that in a second. Um, it doesn't, I won't eat loads of them because it feels like it's a waste, you know, because they've got their own little packaging. And each one is 11 grams. And I think per one, you there's 59 calories, which I don't think is, you know, you just want a little treat. That's like three sins, isn't it, on Slimming World? And honestly, they're so, they are so delicious. So if you're wondering about getting them, um, I know two pounds obviously isn't one pound, but I think they're worth it. So I did get some more of those. My son Toby loves the Mr. Men books and I saw these the other day and they looked really good. They had a whole series, but I just got three because um, I just thought three was enough, three books. Um, so I've got Mr. Bump and the Knight, uh, Miss Noisy and the Giant and the Three Little Misses and the Big Bad Wolf. And I know he's going to love these. A pound each for these Mr. Men books. I also bought two packets of these Beecham's tissues, scented tissues with menthol. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight packets. And I think there's, I don't know how many tissues, just some tissues in there. Uh, but they're just quite nice, you know, if you're not feeling very well and you get a menthol scented tissue it's quite comforting so I bought my mum a packet of those and I got some for me as well how cute are these socks I know you only get a pair for a pound I just thought they were just really really sweet and they're trainer trainer liners but I quite like it uh, because you know when sometimes you get socks and they're really tight around the ankle and you get like a funny shape in your legs well I do anyway these look really soft around like um your ankle so I thought if they're a bit shorter they might be a bit kinder to my legs and just got little I think it's a cat that is a cat, isn't it? And little polka dots. And they did have a few other different ones. I think there was a unicorn. Yeah, a unicorn and a panda and a dog, I think. But I just got one pair because I, I just thought they were sweet. And I normally buy really fluffy socks because they don't um, get your ankles either or like your legs. They give you enough breathing room for your legs to be legs. Hopefully that did make sense and you know and you get a little dent. A dent, that's what it is when you wear tight socks that are too tight. I don't like a don't like tight socks. This looked really good. I don't know if it works. Again, I'll probably bring that back for next week. I'll test the coffee. I will test this as well. It's a, what's it called? Two Motec light up and charge transfer media. Oh no, it transfers media. And it's one um, meter long USB light up phone charger. Oh, hang on. It's for an Android phone. I haven't got an Android phone. I might have to give that to my dad. I think he's an Android, not an Android. <laughs> my dad isn't an alien, um, but I think he's got an Android phone. So I must give that to him. I'll put that, he's got a Samsung. Is that an Android phone? I don't know, I think it is. Anyway, I'll leave that in his suitcase. He's still here. So I've just chucked it in the suitcase. Um, right, what else have I got? Some makeup. I am only buying things that I need or haven't got. And uh, I got this lip gloss because I didn't need it and I haven't got it. This is a L'Oreal one, I think. Or is it Maybelline? And I did like the colour of it. So I did a big makeup giveaway. So well done to Penny and Ali again. Uh, they were the winners and I sent that off earlier on this week. So hopefully they've, they've got their makeup. Um, it looks really nice. It's a Maybelline Colorama lip gloss. And, oh, smells really good. It's just got some glitter in. I do like a little bit of glitter. And I've got some on at the minute, actually. A different one I got from Poundland. That's really nice. And it's quite thick. They had loads of L'Oreal things, but I was really good and only got the one. But they did have some other really nice makeup. Um, and I bought some bronzer, which I do need. I'm looking for a bronzer, but without a highlight, because a lot of bronzers have all the shine stuff in. Hopefully this one will be quite matte. Honolulu Loose W7. I think I've seen that in like home bargains before. And it's yeah, just some loose um, bronzer. Mind you, sometimes they go everywhere, don't they? But I thought I would try it for a pound because I do need a bronzer. If you can recommend a reasonable bronzer with no highlighting, if if that makes sense, no glitter, um, I'd be interested to know. Because when I sort of shove my 
stuff everywhere I kind of don't always want loads of highlight because it looks nice in the summer but then I think in winter it can look a bit too much sometimes like when you're out and I picked Toby up from school I'd like a like, more natural type of bronzer so if you can recommend one um, please comment below and they had loads of funny like novelty um, gift items as well so if you want to buy someone a funny mug they had all different ones like rude ones and daft ones um, amongst it all I found these nail clippers and I really I think they look really good so you've got, got a little that's a foot isn't it and that's a hand um, nail clippers like little manicure set and they've got a little Thing. so you could put one on your key ring if you want to that's really handy isn't it like that little um small nail clippers so i got that for me and i bought one for my dad's wife buran um oh i'll keep that one because it's fallen off it's thingy so i got one each for us hello this looks like i'm wearing a like halloween hat lantern thing but i'm not i'm just holding it in front of me <laughs> hello <laughs> this was a pound as well it's obviously a pumpkin-y type halloween-y thing um, but it's really, again, it's really sturdy. Is it glass? It could be glass or china. Two light holder. So it's the same as these guys, really. Same kind of thing. Um, I just really like the look of him. So he's kind of like a, a can, isn't he? Or something, a little tin. So I bought one more little decoration for Halloween. So I will put that um, somewhere when we put a few little, uh, not Christmas, Halloween decorations up. And that was a pound. And I keep seeing decorative pumpkins um all over instagram and i really want one um and i was gonna go to tk maxx the other day but then it was shut when i was with mr carrington but luckily i saw some decorative pumpkins in poundland and i haven't seen these before i don't know if you have but i just think they're really sweet so a little silver one and it says they're light up as well light up pumpkins and a little obviously orange pumpkin they're just so cute so they're exactly what i need and i could turn it that way and it would look like a little decorative pumpkin. I could turn it this way and you can see his little cheeky face. But I'm going to see if they work because sometimes they don't, do they, Poundland things? I always test them in the shop normally, but I didn't. So let's see if I was lucky enough to get a... Yay! Oh, he glows as well. Oh, how cute is that? Hello, mister. So that's one of them. Let's see if I was lucky. Does this one work? Are you ready? Oh, anticipation. So exciting. Oh, already? Oh! <laughs> That's so sad. So when you test them, don't do what I did. Test them when you're in there because obviously only one works out of these two. Um, sorry, yes, I picked up the wrong one. But yeah, so that's what can happen. Is that funny that I just like, I proved my point. Um, but yeah, so I, I'll keep him anyway and I will test them next time in the shop. So that's my top tip is to try. You know, like they had those bottles with all the um, lights in try them in there as well because quite a few of them didn't work look at me i'm so flashy and it's time for the final item in today's haul which is this comfort creations frosted pine and apple um fragrance not fragrance fabric conditioner um, i don't normally buy things like this for two quid but i really like the way it looked so that's why i bought it so the packaging sort of pulled me in with the apples and um the pine cones and i'll just give it a smell I'm sure it's going to be lovely. Mm. It smells quite basic. Maybe it's not. Maybe in your clothes it's really nice, but that doesn't. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't. I thought it would smell of like lovely apples. Maybe it smells of pine. Maybe that's just what it is. No, it's nice. It's nice and fresh, but I think I was expecting. I can't really smell the apples, um, but I like the, the look of the packaging, but I probably should have smelt it in the shop um, because I was, I was expecting more, but the washing might be really nice. So hopefully all the smells will come out in that. It is very nice, don't get me wrong, but it's just not, um, oof, if you know what I mean. You know that like, oh, I love the smell. It's like more like, I like the smell. So that's everything. Thank you very much for watching this Poundland haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like, write me a comment, I've asked a few questions along the way and let me know what your favorite, uh, Poundland item was in this haul that would be lovely and if you haven't subscribed yet please do because I'd really appreciate it um, but thank you for watching have a great weekend and I will speak to you soon I've got the weekend vlog for Monday and I'll have the charity shop video that I did with Mr Carrington where we bought each other an outfit everything was a pound so we spent five pounds on each other and we tried them on so you can see what we bought for each other um, on Wednesday and he'll also put his video on at the same time and that was charity shop roulette where we selected some random things and then we ran 
ran around Tolworth wearing our funny outfits. So those two videos for Wednesday and then in a week, another Poundland haul. Cheers for watching. Have a great weekend and I will speak to you soon. Bye. Goodbye from inside the lantern too. I don't know if I'll be able to get out. Help! Help! I escaped, I'm fine. So I'll just go now. See you later, bye. Oops. Oh no. Yeah, well, I think I'm more classy because I, I don't flash, but I'm silver, which is always better. And you can use me all year round if you wanna. I can come back at Christmas because I'm silver. I think I'm having the last laugh. <laughs> I'm so flashy, I'm so flashy, I'm like a disco, Halloween disco, oh, 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 disco. <laughs>